Good evening, everyone. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. Quick video, and uh, I guess this is really a, a quick announcement. A few people have been asking me where my memory banks are. I've had them on uh, Google Drive. I had them on uh, Dropbox. Uh, I had them uploaded in a couple of places. So the banks that I've created and share with the community now live on SDR Play's website. So let me show you guys where to get them and then we're going to install them and I'm going to show you how to edit them in case you don't want to use the inputs that I have predefined in those memory banks. Uh, SDR Uno is launched. First thing we're going, to, we're going to want to do with SDR Uno is define our memory bank folder. So let's just do that first. Let's launch a file explorer. I like to put them in documents. So let's go ahead and create a folder called SDR Uno. And as you see, this is in my documents folder. That part is done. Let's right click the memory panel. I'm going to assume that you have no memory banks. If you already have memory banks, uh, just drop my files in your existing folder and they should auto populate uh, on the left side of the memory panel. Let's right click, select our bank folder, go over to documents, and head over to SDR Uno. Alright, that part is done. We don't have any files in there yet, but we told SDR Uno where those files are once we place some files in there. Let's bring a browser into view. Let's go to sdrplay.com. Let's go to community links and SDR Play ham guides. In here you'll see all the videos that I've done in the past a uh, couple of PDFs that I've released and this is this is the gold right here SDR Uno frequency banks there's a video here that will show you how to use the memory panel in more detail but basically just click download when I make updates uh, the calendar date is going to change here I automatically uh, change that so let's click download and there's the bank Let's get this out of view. Let's double click my download folder. Let's double click the zip. Let's select all these and go to copy. Let's go into our documents, our SDR Uno folder that we created, and let's paste them. Okay, that part's done. Uh, if we select the bank folder again, it should auto refresh, or if you close this door uno and launch it it should refresh but let's yeah everything is there now if you want to edit these banks because I have everything defaulting to antenna C of the RSP DX if you're using an RSP 1 RSP 1A it's a single input device it doesn't matter what port I select it's always going to default to that single input let's say if you want to edit it let's uh, launch a notepad we'll bring this into view we'll go to file open all files documents SDR Uno and pick the bank that you want to edit uh, we'll just take time for instance now let's say uh, you're not using antenna so you're using an RSP duo RSP2 uh, RSP DX you want to use the second input antenna B so we will go to replace and just replace A and T. It's case sensitive, so uppercase A, lowercase n, lowercase t, uppercase C, and then replace it with A and T B. Uppercase A, lowercase n, lowercase t, uppercase B. And we can do a replace all. And that will replace all of my uh, antenna input definitions to the one to the ones that you would want. Or you can just go in there and manually do it and then just click File, uh, Save. Let's close that. Let's go back to Time. And there it is, Antenna B. So that's just a, a quick summary of how to get My Memory Banks, where they live now, uh, how to download them, how to install them, and basically how to get them into SDR Uno. If you guys have any questions or comments regarding the memory banks or the memory panel, uh, just leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Alright, just like I said, quick video 73. Have a great week everybody.